I am Dr. Kailas Mali, Adarsh College of Pharmacy, Vita, going to discuss with you one compartment open model intravenous bolus administration. Learning objectives, student will able to estimate elimination rate constant after one compartment open model intravenous bolus administration. Student will able to plot the data on semi-log paper. So you will able to estimate the few secondary pharmacokinetic parameters like elimination rate constant and the elimination half life. Topic outline. So we are going to discuss the representation of one compartment open model intravenous bolus administration. We will see how to determine the elimination rate constant and elimination half life. Assessment strategy this is a mathematical problem to estimate pharmacokinetic parameters and area under curve and few case studies. So let us move towards the one compartment open model intravenous bolus administration. When the drug is given by the intravenous route, at once the drug reaches into the systemic circulation, the body is going to act as a single compartment and from the same compartment the drug is going to be eliminated. So here I have shown the representation of the one compartment open model intravenous bolus administration. So the drug is going to be eliminated from the body and the rate of elimination it is given by the KE. Rate of drug presentation to the body when it is given by intravenous bolus administration by the equation that is dA by dt is equal to rate in minus rate out. As in the case of intravenous bolus administration, the rate in it is zero, hence the equation becomes the rate of change of amount of drug in the body with respect to time is equal to rate out. So the final equation which we will get that is the dA by dt is equal to minus Ke into A. As the rate out follows the first order kinetics. Hence the equation is dA by dt is equal to minus K into A. We will move towards the determining elimination rate constant. So what is the elimination rate constant? It is the rate at which the drug concentration in the body decline over the time. It is a proportionality constant relating the rate and amount is the first order elimination rate constant with the unit of time like minute inverse or hour inverse. So the drug elimination from the body can therefore be described by that is rate of change of amount of drug with respect to time is equal to minus KEA where the A is the amount of drug in the body at a time t after bolus IV administration and the negative sign indicates that the drug is being lost from the body while the, the KE is the elimination rate constant. Look at the graph. When we are plotting the graph of uh, amount of drug in the body versus time on the regular graph paper, you will find the decline in a curve when it is given by intravenous bolus administration. It's a non-linear decline. So, 
with the help of equation rate of change of amount of drug in the body with respect to time is equal to minus kea it is not possible to get the idea about about the elimination rate constant so there is a need to simplify the equation to calculate the various other pharmacokinetic parameters so we have taken the integration of both side that is a0 to a and t0 to t by rearranging the equation finally we got the a is equal to a0 e raised to minus ket where e is the base of the natural law possible to convert the exponential form of the equation into the natural log form so the equation becomes ln a is equal to ln a0 minus ket or alternatively it is possible to write the equation into the logarithmic form so log of the a is equal to log of a0 minus ket divided by 2.303 this is the equation so when we are plotting the graph of log of a to the t we will get the straight line with a slope minus ke divided by 2.303 with the y intercept log of a0 so in this way it is possible to simplify the equation that is the da by dt is equal to minus kea we have taken the integration of both side simplified the equation from exponential form into the logarithmic form yes now look at the graph and just think is it possible to determine elimination rate constant using the following equation or a graph no not at all then what is the solution it is not possible directly to measure the amount of drug in the body at a time t that is a main problem so there is a need to convert the equation into the concentration form we know that there is a relationship between between the that is the amount of drug in the body it is directly proportional to the concentration so it is possible to write the equation in the concentration form as log of c is equal to log of c0 minus ket divided by 2.303 so this is the final equation and when we are plotting the graph of log c to t we will get the straight line with the slope minus k divided by 2.303 and the y intercept is the log of c0 so already we have discussed the things when we are plotting the graph uh, it is possible to get the straight line with a slope minus k divided by 2.303 and it is uh, with the help of slope it is possible to determine the elimination rate constant that is the first pharmacokinetic uh, secondary pharmacokinetic parameter that is the ke is equal to minus 2.303 log of c2 minus log of c1 divided by t2 minus t1 so this is a one approach uh, by which it is possible to get the idea about the elimination rate constant moving towards the second pharmacokinetic parameter that is the elimination half life we know the equation that is uh, we have seen the log of c is equal to log of c0 minus ket divided by 2.03 this is the alternative equation which i have written over here that is ln c is equal to ln c0 minus ket if the concentration is reduced to half of the initial concentration in the time t then this equation can be written as ln 0.5 c0 is equal to ln c0 minus k e t half t gets replaced with the t half and c gets replaced with the c0 
So finally, we will get the by rearrangement and all those things, we will get the equation for elimination half life. That is, T half is equal to 0.693 upon elimination rate constant. Once we have determined the elimination rate constant, it is possible to calculate the elimination half life by using this equation. So half life it is determined directly from the elimination rate constant. Moving towards the determination of elimination half life by using the Seville of paper. I have shown here the two cycle Seville of paper. So here this is the first cycle and this is the second cycle. The y axis comprises the scale which, which starts from 1 then 10 then likewise x axis we have to suppose to start from 0 4 8 12 16 20 24 and 18 i have shown the data on the right hand side of the when the dose of 1000 mg is given so we have to suppose to find out the specific concentrations with respect to time and put the finally join this point to get the strength now remember the definition of half life what is a half life half life is a time required to eliminate half a quantity of drug from its original so here you have to suppose to assume any of the concentration from the elimination phase as an original concentration say for example 50 half of the 50 becomes a 25 so put the line from the 50 and 25 you will get the idea about half life that is t2 minus t1 is equal to half life so this is a, another approach by which we can determine the half life and furthermore with the help of equation elimination rate constant is equal to 0 0.693 upon t half it is possible to determine the elimination rate constant <coughs> So we have seen the determination of elimination rate constant and elimination half life. Elimination rate constant by using the equation, elimination half life by using the let us move towards the one example. The new antibiotic drug was given to the in a single intravenous bolus of 4 mg per kg to 5 healthy male adults ranging between the 20 3 to 38 years. The pharma conditions of the plasma drug concentration time curve for this drug fits one compartment model. The equation of the curve that best fits the data is C is equal to 78 e raised to minus 0.46 T. So this is the data is given and you have to suppose to determine elimination rate constant and elimination half life. Look at the equation which is very similar to the equation that is the C is equal to C0 e raised to minus KAT. So, directly we are getting the value of elimination rate constant as a 0.46. And with the help of equation, that is a T half is equal to 0.693 upon KE, it is possible to determine the elimination half life. So, the value of elimination half life is 1.5 works so this is a solution in this way it is possible to solve the equation so we have seen the application of uh, the pharmacokinetic equation in, de in the determination determination of the elimination half life and elimination rate so today we have seen the one compartment open model intravenous bolus administration you have understand the concepts of the uh, one pharmacokinetics of drug after IV administration, then uh, how to determine elimination rate constant and how to determine elimination half life. Hope uh, the information which I have given to you uh, is useful 
to calculate the secondary pharmacokinetic parameters like elimination half life and elimination rate constant after iv bolus administration thank you thank you very much